Welcome, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 13th of May. The first half of this week, if you're fortunate enough to be in a good relationship, can really pull you and yours even closer and more harmoniously together. But then, both Venus and Mars, which are creating this good vibe, are going to be relocating into new zodiac signs. Mars shifts out of your sector of relating into a much more passionate area, the 8th house. Over the next six weeks, this could see you really turbocharging your efforts when it comes to boosting a business venture or making the most of your longer term financial planning. In a romantic context, it can see you wanting to enjoy the more sultry side of relating. Venus, however, moves into a much more practical zone, ironically, but both planets are going to be angling up to Uranus. Uranus, since the 7th of March, has been in your sector of practicalities. So passion, but also relating skills, can be good if you're trying to reorganise your world in some kind of positive way. However, by the end of this week, there is a full moon in the deep and psychological sign of Scorpio. For you, this suggests that whatever you're trying to achieve in your world, at a more obvious and more, uh, more tangible part of your life, don't ignore the more psychological implications of whatever it is you're involved with. Particularly at work, the twelfth house can be the sector of hidden enemies. So this full moon could uh, make you more conscious of who you can't quite rely upon quite so much, especially in your employment situation. But equally, it's just saying to you that if you do feel a little bit tired or weary as this week draws to a close, don't ignore the more psychological implications of why that may be. Have you ever had your personal horoscope prepared based on your time, date and place of birth? If not, the information within this will go way beyond your zodiac sign. Based on your character analysis or 12-month personal horoscope forecast, if you choose to have both, I will give you a 30% discount. My forecast uses a modern form of prediction called directions. This is where we advance a natal birth chart forwards one degree for every year of your life and then compare it to your natal birth chart when you were born, and also to current transitory planetary activity. A large astrological study found that this was the most accurate form of forecasting. Why not join me beneath this video on the link and check this out for yourself. But for now, it's been a pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.